The human history of Kenya, were we to know it fully, would certainly be one of the longer histories out there. On the continent's east, below the Horn of Africa, certain simian ancestors of ours, such as Homo habilis and Homo erectus, have been found to have thrived there. Fossil records in the region show an abundance of human apes as early as two million years ago. Pre-human primates were there even longer, perhaps first settling in Kenya 20 million years ago. As early as 300,000 years ago, some species of human, possibly Homo sapien, began to develop traits we think of as human. Primarily, they started to make and use tools. Over a long Neolithic period, nomadic groups of humans came and went. Over time, the weather changed, becoming wetter and more alluvial, and hunter-gatherers began to stay local, keep livestock and grow crops. Groups of Proto-Khoisan and Bantu tribes settled in the region. By the first century, there were cities along the coast, famed in the region for their ironwork. They traded with the Arabs, among others. I mention this as far too many histories glancingly acknowledged there were native people on the land. The history truly starts when Arabs colonized the coast in the 7th century, or perhaps pick up from the Portuguese arrival in the 15th century. The Portuguese almost immediately began warring with the Arabs for control of the land. Some accounts may start with tales of the explorer Vasco da Gama, narrowly avoiding death at the hands of an unscrupulous Arab pilot. Those same chroniclers, my main source for this tale among them, are far less apt to tell how, in 1502, the Gama attacked the Mira, a ship laden with hundreds of Indian pilgrims on their way home from Mecca. The explorer set fire to the captured ship, immolating 300 innocent travellers. 